Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our new series. This is your brother Abu Muhammad. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, was salat was salam ala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to Arabic Made Easy. This is your brother Abu Muhammad. In the last lesson, we completed the first unit of book one. Today, inshallah, we're going to start the second unit. Now, let's open our books to the second unit. We have on top of the page the words Al Wahda to Thaniya. The word Al Wahda to means the unit, Al Thaniya means the second. Al Wahda to Thaniya means the second unit. What are we going to study in the second unit? We're going to study Al Usra. Al Usra means the family. Here, we're going to learn how to say the different members of the family in the Arabic language. We're also going to look at the family tree of the greatest human being, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May peace and blessings of Allah be upon him and upon all the messengers and prophets before him. In addition to this, we're going to learn different Arabic expressions and numbers are going to increase from 6 to 10. Now, let's open our books to the first page. In today's lesson, we're going to do the first half of the first conversation. And in the next lesson, we're going to complete the second half. Now, I'm going to do the pronunciation. Ali, assalamu alaikum. Ammar wa alaikum assalam. Ali, hadhi suratu usrati. Please note here that the sad in the word surah should be pronounced in a heavy manner. Surah and not in a light manner with a seen surah because doing this will change the meaning. The word surah with a sad, this means picture or photograph, but the word surah, surah with a seen in a light manner, this means a chapter or part of a book. Yeah? So, هذه سورة أسرتي أمار ما شاء الله. Please note here that the statement ما شاء الله we should end with a ha sound at the end. ما شاء الله. Allah, Masha Allah, and not Masha Allah, Allah, but Masha Allah. Then Ammar continues and says, Man Hada Ali Hada Walidi Adnan, Wahua Muhendisun Ammar, Woman Havihi Ali Havihi Walida T. Saidatu, Wahia Tabibatun. Now let's go to the meaning. Ali initiates the greeting. By saying Assalamu alaikum, which means peace be upon you. Ammar responds back by saying Wa alaikum assalam, peace be upon you too. Then Ali says Hadihi. Hadihi means this is, and we took this in the first unit. Then we, we have the word Surah. The word Surah means photograph or picture. So Hadihi Surah too, this is the picture of, or this is the photograph. Then we have the word Usra. Usrati. The word Usrati consists of two words. The word Usra, which means family, which is the title of this second unit, and an attached here, which makes an E sound, which means mine. So Usrati means my family. Hadhi Suratu Usrati. This is the picture of my family. So this is how we introduce a person or a group of people through a picture in the Arabic language. This is by pointing at the picture and say هذه سورة This is the picture of then mention the person هذه سورة أخي This is the picture of my brother هذه سورة صديقي This is the picture of my friend It doesn't have to be someone connected to you You can use anyone's name هذه سورة محمد This is the picture of Muhammad It doesn't have to be human beings It can be building places and so on هذه سورة بلدي This is the picture of my country and so on Then Ammar says ما شاء الله The statement ما شاء الله is translated to as Allah, Allah willed this to happen or Allah wanted this to happen This is an Arabic expression that both Muslims as well as Arabs, they say whenever they see or hear anything that is nice, anything that is pleasing. So next time you see anything nice or pleasing, try to say MashaAllah. Someone, one of your friends getting married, say MashaAllah. Someone had a baby boy or baby girl, we say MashaAllah. Someone passed his exam, someone got promoted, someone won some money, somehow money came to the person, we say MashaAllah. A note to make here, is that the Prophet Muhammad also encouraged us 
to make a supplication for the person, to make dua for the person, for Allah to ask for barakah for the person. For the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, if any one of you sees something that is pleasing from his Muslim brother and sister, of course, then ask Allah to, to send barakah for the person. How do we do this? We say, Allahumma barik, o barakallahu feek, o barakallahu lak, which just means, may Allah bless it for you, protect it, increase it for you. Now, brothers and sisters, let's try our best to use this statement all the time, whenever we see or hear something that is pleasing. Then Ammar asks, man hada? The word man means who, because there's no is in the Arabic language. We say that man means who is. Then we have the word hada. The word hada means this, you're pointing to a male person. So man hada, who is this? Then Ali says, hada, which means this is, Walidi. The word Walidi consists of two words. The word Walid, which means a father, and an attachia, which makes an E sound. This means my. So Walidi means my father. Later on, we're going to come across a similar word, which also means father. And this is the word Ab in Arabic. Ab also means father. And adding a Ya at the end, Abi means my father. Yes, yeah, so we can say Walid or Ab. So both of them means father, just like in English we say father and dad, Arabic walid and ab. So hada walidi, this is my father Adnan, wa huwa, wa huwa means and he is muhandis. Muhandis means an engineer. So hada walidi Adnan, wa huwa muhandis, this is my father Adnan and he is an engineer. Then Ammar asks, woman hadi, the word woman means and who is, like we just found out. The word hadi means this, you're pointing to a female person. Woman hadi, and who is this? Then Ali says, هذه, which means this is Walidati. The word Walidati consists of two words. The word Walida, which means mother, and an attached, yeah, which makes an E sound, which means my. So Walidati means my mother. Later on, we're going to come across a similar word, which also means mother. And this is the word Um. The word Um means mother. If you attach it with a yes sound, then Ummi, this means my mother. So Walida and um, both of them, they mean mother. Just like in English, we can say mother and mom. So in Arabic, you say um and walida. Yeah? So hadi walidati, this is my mother, Sa'ida. This is her name, Sa'ida. Wahiya, wahiya means and she is. Wahiya tabiba, and she is a doctor, a female doctor. So hadi walidati, Sa'ida, wahiya tabiba. And this is my mother, Sa'ida, and she is a doctor. Now let's go to grammar. In this lesson, we learnt an important questioning word, or in the English grammar, interrogative pronoun. Now, interrogative pronouns are just the words that we use to ask questions to find out some information. Words such as what, where, who, when, why, how, and so on. We took the word man. The word man means who. Please note three important points whenever we use the word man. Number one, after the word man, it has to be reference to a human being. After the word who, we have to be asking about a human being. So for example, Man waliduka, who's your father? I'm asking about a human being. Man hada, who is this? Man huwa, who is he? And so on. So after the word man, we can only ask human beings. Can I take a pen and say, Man hada, who is this? I cannot use a pen to ask who. Why? Because a pen is not a human being. So after one, after the word man, which means who, it should be a reference to a human being. Number two, point number two, after the word man, you can be asking who a female person or a male person, just like the way we learnt in the book, in, the, in this lesson. Man hada, who is this, you're asking about a male person, or man hadi, you're asking who is this, you're asking about a female person. Number three, point number three, is that man can be used for singular or plural. So you can ask about a particular person, or you can ask about a group of people. So both of them are fine. So please remember these three important points whenever we use man. Inshallah, in the next lesson, we're going to find out another interrogative pronoun which is used for non-human beings. Now, this is the end of the lesson. What did we learn in today's lesson? In today's lesson, we learned how to introduce a person through a picture in the Arabic language. And this is by saying, Havi suratu. This is a picture of them mention the person. It doesn't have to be a person. It can be a group of people. It can be buildings. It can be place, places and so on. You say, Havi suratu. This is a picture of them mention 
the person or the place or the thing, and so on. And we also learned some members of the family in the Arabic language, such as father and mother, and so on. If anyone has any questions related to today's lesson, please feel free to ask. Inshallah, we'll try to get back to the answers as soon as we can. Jazakumullah khairan for watching. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.